Okay, guys, here you have it. We're going to break down the NFL quarterbacks and where Daniel Jones stands with them. Okay, number one, Aaron Rodgers, $50 million. Next up, you have Russell Wilson, $48 million. Kyler Murray, $46 million. Deshaun Watson, Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, Matt Stafford, Prescott, Daniel Jones, and then Derek Carr, as you can see. So where would you really put Daniel Jones? Would you put him near Kirk Cousins? Would you put him at Jared Goff? I like him here, okay? I like it at the 40 million. Do I think we overpaid by a couple million? A little bit, but here's why. Okay, moving on. If you guys do not know the contract stats, here we go. Year one, 26 years old. He's only getting a base of $9.5 million. What does that mean? He's going to get $46 million in cash. Year two, he's going to be 27 in 2024. That means he will be getting a base of $35.5 million and $36 million in cash. Year number three, he'll be 28 in 2025. $30 million in base salary and $30 million in cash year four this is where it can get interesting the giants can say no we don't want you after three years a potential fallout of three years 112.5 million dollars only dead dead cap space of nine million guys when you break down this contract Joe Shane and Brian Dable are absolute studs and they know what they're doing. If he wants to opt in for that fifth year, again, he'll get $47.5 million. But if you guys really want to break it down after that three years, they can opt out. And what does that equate? Around $37, 38000000 million. Comment below what you guys think about Daniel Jones' deal.